So the brand new Image Playground app is finally available. I got my early access granted and I've been able to test out and I'm going to be basically reviewing the Image Playground out with you guys. So nonetheless, when you first get early access, this is what the message will be like in the settings. It's just going to say image creation tools are here now. Open Image Playground. It says Gemmoji, Image Playground and Image Went are now available for your iPhone. In order to get this playground, first of all, guys, you have to be running the iOS 18.2 beta so this is the only ios that supports the playground right here if i open up my software right here as you guys can see i have the latest ios 18.2 so as long as you have that this image playground app will be by default installed on your device so when you first open the app this is how it will look like you get full access to this ai based image creation app so i'm going to walk you guys from the bottom right here you need to choose a character for your if you want to do like a genmoji if you want to create a ai version of yourself you have to type in either your name or any other person that is included in your photo library and basis off of that it's going to create a lot of different ai images for the just for the sake of this video i'm going to use my image but again you can just create images not just face specific you can just create any ai images just by typing in here but if you do want to just use uh, your face right here let's say i'm going to use my face i'm going to go ahead and click on it and choose right here as you guys can see it's just going to create a variety of different images but then here you have suggestions if you click on show more you have a bunch of different themes to choose from i can say i am at a let's say summer right here and then i can say start starry night and then based off that it's going to combine these two different prompts and it's going to create different images so you can just click on this plus icon and then switch to uh, illustration as well if you want to switch to different style of images instead of just being animation you can switch to illustration and you can also choose a photo from your photo library from clicking over here you can even just take a photo it's totally up to you but based on these suggestions right here you can just say you're at a stage or you're at an adventure there are a lot of different good uh, suggestions here included and you can also choose a specific photo to be used for your face it doesn't have to be just pre-made photo right here you can just type in your name right here i can click on edit and then based off the different pictures you can choose the avatar that looks the closest to you and based off of this you can basically choose the one that looks closest to you let's say i want to use i think this is the closest one i'm just going to use this one i'm going to click on done and based off of that, it's going to create different AI images. And you can just say dislike it by that way. It's going to learn what it, what it is that it's doing wrong. Because again, this playground app is still in the beta. You can just give feedback and help them improve it. But nonetheless, I can specifically type in anything here. I can say um, in the bus. And then now, as you guys can see around this bubble, you have in the bus stage. And I can just delete the stage because I think it's just contradictory right here. I'm in the bus. So you can give any type of comment I can say in the market. So the more clear images or the prompts that you give, the better the uh, overall quality of the AI images, the results that you get. But nonetheless, this is how it looks like. Very, very straightforward, easy app to use. You can quickly switch between different styles here. And based off of that style, it's going to create different uh, images right here very very nice i personally like the illustration i think illustration looks a lot more like realistic than the animation style you guys can see right here very very beautiful end results but nonetheless nothing too fancy nothing too crazy I, I i have yet to play around in depth by typing in different images and stuff like this but i have played out a lot with these suggestions i can say for example i can say fantasy world I can say adventure and basis off of these prompts it's going to combine these prompts and come up with something that looks the best in terms of using all those prompts right here as you guys can see and you can also save this by cl clicking on this three menu icon save the image it's going to save it within the app not to your photo library if you want to save it to your photo, photo library you have to click on share and then save the image then it will be saved into your photo library and in order to access all of the photos that you have saved within the app this is where it's going to be faces or all of the pictures that you have created using this app it's going to be easily accessible here you can just click quick quickly share this send it to your friends whatever that you want to do you want to also save it within your messages to be able to quickly send it as an emoji or like a gen emoji you can also do that as well here but nonetheless guys you guys get the idea overall pretty interesting app i want to spend more time with playing around with it and come up with new different stuff and i'm sure it's going to only get better in over time apple updating this app adding new features so definitely stay tuned for that subscribe down below if you haven't already and leave me a big thumbs up because it really helps the channel out thanks again for watching check out these videos in the meantime i'll catch you guys next video peace out